fatality. Don't worry about me, little man. I'm a lot tougher than I look. No more monkeying around. You want to try fighting against me? Your power is decidedly mild. Ah, I hope it was worth it. All right! Oh, there you are. そうか pretty obvious, uh, and anyone that needs a brain check, it's easy. Um, guys, I made a video two years ago, um, and I'm sure this is why this guy asked for this. Yamcha, like, pff, oh my god. Um, you know I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, but Yamcha, man, he's had it rough. Uh, I don't think Akira Toriyama intended to make him the Santino Marilla of uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, but that's what he is. He is he is Santino Marilla of uh, you know WWE's Dragon Ball Z's WWE Santino Marilla uh, is Yamcha, uh, and I don't think he was intended to be in that. I actually think Yamcha was originally intended to be a decent character. But once Dragon Ball Z came around, Kira Toriyama at that point decided that it was only going to be about Piccolo, the Saiyans, the full breed Saiyans, and the half breed Saiyan Earthlings. That is what it was all going to be about, and pretty much all full breed Earthlings were basically screwed in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, because, yeah. Um,. I mean, in Dragon Ball Z, if we're talking about Dragon Ball Z, Yamcha's really only moments were all were all screw ups. They were all screw ups. Um, you had you had uh, the Cybermen whole thing, you know, during the Saiyan saga, where Yamcha actually looked pretty decent. He he was doing pretty good for himself actually against the first Cybermen, and then for whatever reason, uh. You know, he got cocky after taking the uh, Cybermen out. And then, you know, that allowed the Cybermen to get on him, ex sacrifice himself, explode, and thus killing Yamcha. And, uh, you know, then of course when he came back, 
He got screwed by Dr. Sharob, a.k.a. Android uh, 20. And uh, pfft, that was kind of it for him, you know. There was nothing really else left for him after that, you know. He may, you know, he was basically a spectator throughout the entire Boo Saga. He didn't even do anything for the Boo Saga. I mean, that's how, I mean, that's how, that's how bad it got for Yamcha. Uh, he, he, he went so far to, you know, just put away his fighting gear altogether. You know, at least Krillin, at least Krillin, even though he knew he was completely outclassed to everybody, he still entered the martial arts tournament in the for the for the you know during the Boo Saga. Yamcha was just like done you know you know you seen him in the crowd but that was it he, he was done you know Damsha just he just was like whatever you know he was just a whatever character and it became a mean because of that uh, but if you want to talk about a useless character it's it's Yamcha uh, Yamcha pretty much didn't do anything and the only times he did do things it was just to screw him up over you know, he looked like a complete idiot, uh, you know, when he was confronted by Android 19 and uh, Dr. Shrove. When he talked to him, I'm thinking to myself, how does he, I mean, I know he can't sense their powers, but how do you, how can you not know they're not androids? I mean, common sense. Like, they had the red ribbon uh, logo, they had the red ribbon logo, uh, you know, Android 19's got a white face. Like, I mean, like, a pure white face, which is completely an unnatural, you know, skin color, like, there. Like, you know, come on. Like, I mean, it was, comp I mean, it was pure white. It was pure white. So it's like, no, no, no human has a skin color that way. I mean, it, it was common sense that that was not, you know, that that was not, like, some, you know, you know, regular casual person. Okay, you know, you know, and he's asking, you know, if he's seen the android and stuff like that. I'm like, like, Yamcha, come on. Come on, dude. Like, really? Like, I mean, common sense should have should have played a factor in there, like, for him, you know. And, and then he just got basically screwed after that by them. Um, and, uh, you know, they had to give him a senso beam to, you know, basically save his butt because he, like his skin was all screwed up and you know he had a hole through his body so like if we're talking about a useless character we're talking about Yamcha uh, Sakurada was a great character and I, I'll defend y uh, Sakurada until the day I die Sakurada w was a great character um, she had her moment she had development you know people say she doesn't have development she absolutely had development she probably had more development than any of the characters did. I mean, look where she was from the original Naruto series to where she got in, in Shippuden. You know, you know, in, in Naruto she wasn't really that much of a pun puncher, and then all of a sudden Shippuden, she has this, you know, WMV punch that she can do, you know, like Tsunade. You know, so, you know, Sakura actually had development. You know, and she had her moments, you know, she, did she have as many moments as Naruto or even Sasuke to a certain extent? No, because she was it wasn't focused more on her as it was to them. But the one time she did w was the focus, you know, when it was her and Lady Chio, you know, she had her moment. That was her moment when she took out the Puppet Master guy. You know, she took out that Kotsky dude. And, you know, that was her moment. That was her moment. And it was a great moment for her. And people still don't recognize it. You know, they just say, oh, you know, she got help from Chio or whatever. It's all the bullcrap. Trying to take it away from the no contest. Like, I'm 110% buying Sakura Haranon and I'm, like, selling Yamcha completely. Um, so, yeah, if there's any more requests for my buy and sell, um,. Let me know what you guys uh, think, and like I said, comment down below your requests, and I'll consider them, uh, but please don't do these, like, weird ones anymore, because they're just kind of freaky. Um, but yeah, anything wrestling, anime, characters, shows, ratings, you know, whatever, topics, 
um, and I'll see if I can uh, do it and uh, get a conclusion. Um, so yeah, that's my take on this. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate. If you like this video and my other videos, please subscribe. And that's about it, guys. I am BSS Ultimate Goku, and I'm out of here. Peace.